Welcome back to Red Panda of Destiny, here for another episode of All Your Vehicles Are Belong to Us, the show where we collect all the vehicles from all the places. Um, so I have tried for a little while to find a, a race that's actually useful, but I couldn't find one, so let's do... Oh, I'm kind of off-tuned for that one. Just do this one and enjoy. Have we driven the Impressa yet? Let's give it a go. So yeah, I checked like three or four different cars. Couldn't find anything that was useful for this one. So we're stuck doing this sucker. I really like to know who thought up this achievement because they're an idiot. Like just one tweak. Take away the world tour clause. It's stupid. Definitely feels like they thought of the achievement after they finished the game. Which case, why don't you just make it win every race on the event list? Like that's accessible and easy to do. But no. Couldn't possibly do that. Man, that all-wheel drive takeoff. Well, thanks. Oh, the assists are still on, aren't they? Turn them on so I could do the uh, Fujimi Kaido um, downhill run in a Nissan GTR. It was fun. Uh, I guess we're back to being over talented. Great. Wouldn't really have any options to go down a class on this one. I feel like that's a big flaw with this game. If you drive the cars they tell you to drive, you just end up really bored. <laughs> Also, if you leave the assists on on a car, you don't need them. Turning all the assists off has definitely improved the gameplay for me, though. Because I didn't use, I used to have everything on. Yeah, see, with the assists off, I would have crashed there.
See, this, this bit always trips me up because it's not always the finish line. If you do the long circuit, the finish line is somewhere else. I guess this uh, complex is designed so that they can run two races at once. Yeah, you can see the other track over there. Next, your return to Barcelona's majestic circuit. Is this going to be helpful? Asian All Wheel Drive Sports Challenge. This is a national circuit, right? What are we racing? Great. So it's Evos versus Impreza's versus Skylines. Or I guess it should be STIs versus GTRs versus Evos. I feel like the um, the base model Lancers and Impreza's really get forgotten. And the SCI has the weird thing that the, uh, the WRX gets remembered, which is essentially the lower end version of the STI. But with the Evo, everyone always forgets the lower end uh, performance Lancer, which is the rally art. That one always got forgotten. Um, they both get forgotten now, since Mitsubishi's decided that they don't want to make decent cars anymore. I mean, what does Mitsubishi still make? They make the... the uh, Mirage, which is terrible, and also, incidentally, the cheapest car in America. Mostly because it's terrible. Uh, it's it's very good basic motoring, I suppose. But other than that, it's terrible. Which is why it's basic motoring. Get what you pay for. Uh, this will make that what that Eclipse Cross thing, which is just 
slightly sacrilegious, but whatever. Um, what else? They don't make a pickup truck anymore. They canceled that, I believe. Um, they still make some big... They make an Outlander thing, probably. I think any car person would be interested in it, definitely. Did they, I know the Impreza at one point got dropped in the UK. I don't know if it's still gone. Or if Subaru brought it back. It seems like a really weird place not to sell it. Like, they'll sell it in America, but they won't sell it in the UK. Of an odd decision. <laughs> I'm still amazed at the tenacity of the new, uh, the new Elantra N that was announced. I think it was a, might just be a rumor, actually. But the way it's looking, it's looking like it'll cost the same as a Subaru Impreza. WRX. SCI. Maybe. Maybe the one of them. Either way, it's competing with a four-wheel drive car as a front-wheel drive car. Why would you buy the car from the unproven company when you could buy the one that's proven and has all-wheel drive? Seems like a no-brainer. But, hey, the Indivision is supposed to be really good, so, I don't know, maybe they made it better than an Impressa, somehow. They do have a BMW engineer at the helm, so, who knows. And it's not like, it's not like competing with the German companies, where all you have to do is not cost thousands and thousands of dollars to fix every time you break. The Japanese manufacturers do not cost that much. So I think I've heard a few odd things about boxer engines, but... I'm assuming nowhere near Audi, BMW levels of very expensive when they break. I still find myself very distrustful of German car makers. Because I had a I had a Volkswagen Jetta once. Um, so it broke down, which is fine, you know, old cars break down. It was about 10, 11. Um, it broke down. Um, I was living um, two hours away from my parents, uh, but we have a, like a, Volkswagen specialist there who my dad had all his um, Corrado's service by him so you know big trustworthy um, but I was coming home to my parents house it's a two hour drive uh, made it about halfway there the Jetta threw a hose left me stranded you know halfway home had to get a very expensive tow truck ride through like three counties um then I had to go back to San Antonio where I was living. So I borrowed someone else's car, took it back. Um, I was probably down there a week. Uh, my brother went to pick up my Jetta, and it broke down again. Not not the same day. It broke down like a couple days later because he was using it because I was driving his car. It broke down before I even got it back. And I'm like, really? So we said goodbye to the Jetta, and I went and bought a Hyundai. Which never really went wrong, actually. Oh, what track is this? Though it didn't get much of a chance, because somebody put it on its roof. Rather annoyingly. Is 
it the full circuit? But yeah, I don't think anything significant went wrong with my Hyundai. The battery died, but that's, you know, a battery. It's the battery manufacturer's fault, not the car's. And I think I think it was just because of it was it took them a long time to sell that particular car because it was like the base 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 model, uh, which is why I got it so cheap. Uh, but I think all the time it spent, you know, after it was manufactured sitting in a car lot in Korea, Sitting on a boat, sitting in a car lot in um, California, probably sitting in a car lot in Texas. Yeah, there's a lot of time before I got it, even if it was a new car. Let's see how little Abarthi here does. fix the whole assist thing. Okay, back to my normal setup. Definitely don't need the assists in this car.
Ooh, Infinity's going for an interesting and failed overtake. Oh, wait, he's going for it. No, he failed. Oh, hey, my dad used to have one of those CTs. The uh, first gen. straight will cause me some problems. I will admit this. Wait, this car's top speed is 100 and... Oh, no, it's going faster. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> top side at 112? Uh, I guess that tracks for the horsepower. And it's not exactly the most aerodynamic car in the world. TT is not very fast. <laughs> See him break. <laughs> that was hilarious. Just like maximum break. Oh, held that slide. That service road there is such a weird part of that that track configuration because it's not really wide enough for a race track. It's a slip road. It's not like... It doesn't seem like it was designed for you to run a track circuit through it. Oh god. No, 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 no. Gotcha. Oop, nope, hang on. Come on, little Fiat, let's go! Oh, God. Okay, this, this is where, where we gotta, gotta defend. defend. I think. He's, He's not, not really catching, catching up. up. I think, I think that say was about to pass me, me but... Fended him, him off. off. Seems, Seems we have now reached the top, top of the line. line. That car's expensive. Oh. Right. <sighs> it's 
funny story, story I just remembered about a, a bar 500. I was at a, I think it was at a mall. And I was uh, leaving. I wasn't leaving quite fast enough for the fella in the bar because he just started revving his engine. It's just like, uh, dude, you're in a shoe. You don't look menacing. It's a bit ridiculous. It's like, I don't know, maybe that would look menacing in Italy. When most people have TTBT cars, but when, um... If everyone has a truck, no, you do not look menacing. You look silly. So, stop. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I've never understood that attitude of the wait for the parking space. It's like, you don't know what that person's doing. They might have to, you know, Google Maps their way home. They might have to call somebody before they can leave. Just go somewhere else. Come on, yep. I forgot the appeal of the new Mini. You just, just like, you pay a premium for BMW problems. I don't get it. I don't get it. Get it. I mean, it, it looks, looks pretty, pretty sure. Is that, that worth a premium? An unreliability? They're also getting quite large. Like, they're just like standard compact cars now, they're so huge. Maybe like a, a little bit smaller, but they're still pretty big. For a car that's called a Mini, it's just a normal sized car. It's like, well, what's the point? Seems like the whole spirit of the old one is gone. Five hundred on the other hand, that kind of kept the spirit of the old car. Especially when they did this hot version. It's just a zippy little car. And they're actually cheap, but the the cheapness is also because they're Italian. Ooh, which means they're sketchy reliability wise.
1.8 million dollars is how much this car costs I'm not sure why it's not 1.77 or maybe this game just rounds but really it should be one one million seven hundred and seventy thousand that might not have been the right color choice but whoa fantastic work hmm. Ew. Master. The Elite Division features a mammoth series of races for the best cars and drivers out there. Today we return to New Hampshire for another event on the winding track at Maple Valley Race. Cool. I have to paint my new car. Nope, no, hang on. So it looks like we're like two or three episodes away from buying the first Acura. Finally. I'm going to give the Bartoni a uh, benefit of the doubt for now. It looks white-ish. But uh, that's today's episode. looks like next week we're doing street legal race car. Whatever that means. See you then.